What's up Blockhead? So in a previous video I mentioned quick shifting and a lot of you guys were asking me what quick shifting was. Well, I'm going to demonstrate it here on the highway real quick and then we'll pull over into Magnolia Park and I'll explain it and we'll demonstrate it again. Clutchless shifting, no need to pull in on clutch or let off throttle. The last videos that I was doing with the MT-09, I mentioned having a quick shifter. There was a number of you guys that asked what a quick shifter was. Whenever I tried to demonstrate it in that video, I guess it didn't really come across, but you know, I basically like kept my hand off the clutch saying you can basically clutchless shift, but it's not quite clutchless shifting. There's a difference between clutchless shifting and having a quick shifter. So with clutchless shifting, you can preload the shifter, you let off throttle and pull through into the next gear going up. With a quick shifter, it's a little different. So with a quick shifter, there is basically something here on the shifter that is going to send a signal to the electronics of the bike. Instead of having to let off throttle, pull clutch in, shift, let off clutch, back on throttle, all you have to do is you take the clutch out of the equation entirely. So the clutch lever, I mean, so you're not pulling back on clutch lever at all. You're pretty much just shifting up. Now, it does work usually at higher speed whenever you're getting on it, riding a bit more spiritedly, which you guys will see. I'll do like a demonstration, like I said. And now that's what a, a quick shifter does. You also don't have to let off of the throttle, so you can pretty much keep throttle pulled back. You don't have to let go because it cuts the power to the engine for you, leaving that little bit of time for the transmission to shift. That's a quick shifter. I had a number of you guys ask if you could do that both upshifting and downshifting. That is only with upshifting. If you want it to do that downshifting, that's what they call an auto blipper. This bike does not have an auto blipper. Essentially it works the same way, except my experience with auto blippers is that they're a little bit more picky in terms of what speed you're going and what RPM you downshift them in. We're gonna go ahead, throw a leg over it, and I will show you guys what quick shifting is. It's just super easy stuff. It actually makes it easier than normal shifting. It is a little bit, I don't know, you kind of develop a feel for the bike, and it doesn't really like doing it like in the lower RPMs. Usually I'll do it like mid to higher RPMs, because I mean, that's kind of what it's designed for, so. MT-10 off-road. You guys notice there, like I pulled the clutch lever into shift. Like I'm just going way too low speed in here to uh, to use or utilize the quick shifter. It would make the uh, the shift feel kind of really clunky. And in my opinion, it doesn't feel like the bike likes it. Like it'll do it, but I just don't feel like it's it doesn't feel as smooth, which you guys will see once we get out on the road and I uh, give you guys a demonstration. Oh man. Lots of peacocks out today. All right, so we're gonna go here as well as a uh, highway. So I'll go ahead and drop it down into first gear. One thing I want you guys to keep an eye on is, and I'm gonna focus on the clutch lever here and then uh, the RPMs. So I'm gonna just start low speed. What a quick shifter does. All I'm doing is pulling up on the shift lever. You guys see during that, I'm not letting go of the throttle. So I'll show you guys again, keeping an eye on the throttle. So, I mean, you don't have to take off the throttle at all. It's, I mean, I think it's awesome. Um, it's, Especially for whenever you're getting on a bike like that, you know, you're riding a bit more spiritedly and like I'm taking it easy for this bike, you know, the, the MT-10, that's not getting on it at all. <laughs> if anything, it's short shifting it, man. You guys see where I'm at in the RPM, man. I'll do it at lower speed just so you guys can kind of see the difference. Like it, it does it, no problem. But uh, 
Yeah, I, I only like to use it whenever it's like, you know, more mid to high RPM because it's much quicker. It just feels a lot smoother. Whenever you do it low RPM, it kind of has that like little bit of a hiccup to it. Not much. I mean, it's it definitely uh, still feels good, but yeah, I just, uh, that's, that's personal preference. With quick shifting, I mean, that's pretty much what quick shifting is. And it is something that is installed on the bike. Uh, it sends, like I said, it sends a signal to the, uh, the electronics of the bike. It cuts the power to the engine, it shifts, and it basically resumes acceleration based on your throttle input. There is what they call clutchless shifting, which is uh, if you don't have a quick shifter installed, you, like I said, you can only do that with certain bikes. There's a debate in that, like whether it's good or not for it, but, and then, like I said, you've got bikes that have quick shifters and auto blippers, and you don't have to pull in on the clutch lever. So you guys see with this shifting, I'm, I'm pulling in the clutch myself just because it's like I'm, I'm not riding it like really hard. I'm just riding it normal, you know, normal like commute. That's just personal preference. I'm sure there's going to be a number of you guys that have more experience out there with quick shifting that, you know, might say like, hey, it's totally fine. I don't know. To me, it just doesn't feel, it just doesn't feel right uh, for the, for the bike. So, you know, I'm, that's, that's my primary concern is like I'm looking to <laughs> do no harm if it were my bike especially, but uh, even more so the fact that like this is a bike that I'm borrowing and so, you know, I, I want to treat it with the utmost respect. So that's quick shifting up, but then down shifting, I still got to pull in clutch. I'm, I'm trying to rev match, basically blipping instead of having an auto blipper. Awesome for being in twisties like this because as you're coming out of them you don't have to pull in a clutch lever pretty much just flip. see see how fast and convenient that is it's so nice so if you are getting on the, uh, the throttle a bit more you know you're launching from a dig that's also nice because whenever you do pull in the clutch lever, you tend to kind of shift weight a little bit. Like it's not noticeable, like especially if you've got like a lighter clutch lever. So not too noticeable. However, whenever I had my Yamaha R6, uh, there was one time where I, before I learned to clutchless shift, I was getting on it and like 10, 11,000 RPM, like the R6 just, it's like a light switch. It becomes a rocket ship. And uh, once I was hitting those upper RPMs, pretty much right at red line, I pulled in on the clutch lever and that little tiny shift in weight at those speeds caused me to kind of like, you know, move over a little bit. Whenever you're going those speeds, like those little tiny moves movements are highly amplified. Quickly learned how to clutchless shift after that because it didn't cause that shift in weight. Uh, it didn't cause a difference of the input on the bars because like I said, like whenever you are going at speed, you know, say you're going 80, 90 miles an hour or whatever the top of, uh, <laughs> what is it? Um, first gear is on an R6 and you pull clutch lever in, it's like it causes like this little tiny, little tiny input that's not, you know, where you, where you were in terms of like your balance. And whenever you do that, that little tiny input at those speeds when you're accelerating like that, it's, um, it, it's noticeable. We're right back. We'll continue on the highway so I can show you guys how it works there a little bit more in depth, I guess. All right, we're gassed up. in RPMs there. That guys, it just makes accelerating on this thing like just effortless. It being an MT10, getting up to speed on this thing is already effortless, but having a quick shifter on there, it just makes it even like way faster, easier. You've got less of that like downtime of pulling in the shifter, shifting, you know, doing the whole like shift process, which, you know, doesn't take long, but it just, it, it shaves off those like microseconds. I would really be curious to see like what the difference is between the timing of like normal shifting and the timing of quick shifting. If normal shifting takes like a second, quick shifting takes like a quarter of a second. I feel like it's just way, way different, much quicker, hence the name quick shifting. But yeah, that's the gist of it, guys. Uh, we'll do an outro here, get on the highway showing you guys it, but it's gonna get a little windy there, so.
If uh, this video was informative, if it answered your question, do me a favor, help us hack that YouTube algorithm and hit that like button for me. If you guys wanna see more moto content like this, you're not subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. Hit that bell icon while you're over there so it sends you notifications of future uploads and activity. And uh, until next time, you guys ride safe out there. Stay vigilant. Catch you guys in the next one.